all. Thank you, I, Gautam. I, yeah, we're looking forward to this too. Nice. Okay, good. Very nice. So we are live. Oh, I guess everywhere. It's, I don't see it on, on YouTube yet. So let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, it's working. Amazing. It? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. Perfect. It's great. So uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we kind of picked this GDC time because this is the first thing <laughs> we are doing this ever live. I mean, we did it kind of uh, with my games. But you were kind of asking a lot of questions and we didn't have time because we had a lot of topics to cover. So now we can uh, we can actually answer your questions. So if you have any questions, please post them in the channel on YouTube and on LinkedIn as well. I had to mute myself. Um, so on LinkedIn, <laughs> because I was, I was hearing myself in the... In That's the, the live of a streamer for you, right? There. I know, I know, I know, I know, right? And uh, also, uh, cheers to everyone. Thanks for coming. Hmm. Here we go. So we don't have any questions yet, mm -hmm. but I think we can, we can actually Should we start... do like maybe a five minute talk on what we think is working right now? Because I have done a ton of segmentation with clients lately. And you can, yeah, you, can, you can do that. I mean, you disappeared basically half stream last time. Well, or technically, half ah, ah, technically, ah, let's just I be, was 30 let's minutes just be inter late, yes. intellectually honest here. You were 30 <laughs> minutes late. I offered to do it an hour later and you said no. So, <laughs> yes, that's true. Shut okay, up, Andy. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's very wow. sexist and not very nice, Vimo. It's not very Especially nice. since I'm going for surgery tomorrow, you should be extra nice to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see if these comments are extra. Mm, where, where, how do people get on the LinkedIn Live recording? It's yeah, it's already know. there. It's seven people are there, so uh, everything is happening. Don't so worry. How do I get there? You? Well, like. I, Where's the link, or it's in Slack? Or... Can I just talk about what's working instead of yeah. you guys yapping about technicalities? Yeah, maybe, yeah, you can. maybe you can, you can, and I will just you know do this in the in the chat. So open this up. So segmentation has quickly become the new hot new thing that everyone's actually talking about, and it's not Amazon starting anymore. To do. <gasps> no, yeah, Amazon is oh! Amazon has done this thing. Amazon has done this thing where they don't let any new clients on, and they're very strict about it, and they keep teasing it. So in January they said February, in February they said April. And then I messaged already, and now they said maybe May. So basically, they're pushing it back. And my thinking here is, I think they're launching something. There must Ooh. be something they're working on. And I'm sure it's UA, UA related, because you don't really uh, hold yeah. off supply unless you have no idea how much demand you're going to get. So that stinks to me of a new product, basically, at least on Amazon. But uh, that's just speculation. It's a big speculation. Yeah, but I'm usually right. <laughs> anyway, so usually. segment, yeah, usually, yeah, usually not usually. always, yeah. Uh, so segmentation, so segmentation is working. I've done it with two clients, and super simple starting setup is basically in Firebase. You look at which geos have low IAPs, and then uh, whatever you can do on the ad side to increase ad loads for non IAP countries. Uh, basically, you increase it. So on one, we decrease cooldown timers on where reward ads appear increased in tier three and tier four ad revenue by 22 percent so basically we dropped down the cooldown timers i think it was from the cooldown timers for appearing a rewarded placement was uh, 45 seconds and we dropped it down to 30 and now 25 in tier four and tier three and it's just what is going on with this camera <gasps> yeah and it's working super well yeah and the kind of hot thing that's the most complicated one that we're doing now is we're actually starting to segment by user acquisition campaigns. So whatever user acquisition campaigns brought in the user, they have a different ad experience. So mm. if it's a blended ROAS, if it's an ad, ad ROAS, or if it's an IAP optimized campaign, they get a different, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, it's kind of nice. Um, I saw this happening actually already uh, and you don't need cases. to talk to your uh, ad network representative to unlock this functionality you're saying about what do you mean segmentation segmentation is done on your side right you do it oh, on no. firebase first of all okay okay no okay i was just making sure that it's not ah, yeah, this is like not... you need to ask for it even to have it <laughs> no this is done on your back end right so you the the basic premise is that so what i found out now from doing this a couple of times is that 
people in certain countries are willing to watch a hell of a lot more ads than some. So India, Malaysia, Indonesia, like you can nearly double the ad load without losing any retention. Like, and this is mm. the truth. Some people aren't are just, these, aren't yeah. these people called bots? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> It's yeah, like, how how would you even know like the ECPN goes down or like how would you know like it's bot traffic? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why would I care? That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it sounds like a you problem. Oh, I like these problems, <laughs> especially when it's you, not me. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's working really well. Okay. Just posting uh... this. We have some questions, yes. Yeah, we have some questions, so let's think to it. Where do we have questions? In YouTube. YouTube, ah. yes. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Gautam. So, and you know, you know what we are going to witness? Sorry, we are going to witness our um, poop emergency breaks all live. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, my wife's man. just texting me. Ah, that's fine. You will continue. I will just disappear and then reappear. Because, uh, dear listeners, I have a child which usually poops when we record. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, I know. Nobody cares. We can continue. Um, so the question is, can game like Ball Blast from Voodoo be considered on the hybrid casual category? So looking correctly at Ball Blast, uh, if I had... The Are title, you blasting your balls? Nah. <laughs> it's actually a game about the cannon, like the old, really old one. About the cannon? No, no, no shit. Uh, yeah, just looking at it briefly, and it's not really doing that much. Uh, Can you do a IP, share screen at least? IP revenue. Yeah, yeah. Do a share let screen. Me, let me go into it. Um, da, 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 da. Where's the share screen? Here it is. I hope I have the right game. It's called Ball Blast Cannon Blitz Mania. Uh, and we see the, the revenue here. It's actually showing the usual pattern of a voodoo game that's being in re reconstruction, where you could see like there's some some kind of a, let's say, leftover IP revenue, and then suddenly it spikes because yeah, that, but it's that, like 4K per day. Yeah, 4K per day. Uh, download side, it's yeah, literally nothing. So it means that they're usually probably just capitalizing on the current traffic. But uh, yeah, I would need to look into the game a little bit more closer to know if it's hybrid casual already. But just by this, it probably means it's similar games to Paper IO2 that we talk about, which means that Voodoo internal team just got a green line for this game because it probably got like a very good, I don't know, retention curve or something. And they're like hybridize it. So now they're probably adding IP mechanics into it, making it more kind of a robust regarding economy, making it more engagement demanding and stuff like that. So probably it could be considered hybrid casual already. Because you didn't like, even play the game, so how can you tell? I know of, of this IP. I know, know, I know, I know, I know. IP thing that, that we have here, but like, yeah, I can. You know, my my trick to like very very fast kind of play these games is just take the game's name, and then <laughs> literally punch it into YouTube and add gameplay word on top of it. And I have literally like few of these channels that that's like. Yeah, that you don't we don't see it by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking into it uh, just a oh, second yeah, because yeah. you need you to. Can... The problem mm -hmm. with these gameplays is that you need to filter them by time because if you just slap it like normally, it's it's a problem. That uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, that it's uh, it's usually the old build which is not the yeah. one that changed. So see here we see this is the new build because we see what currency doubling currency and stuff yes. like that. So yeah, and now we see it how it now looks. So it. yeah, definitely this is the different game that I saw last. Yeah, time yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for so sure. So it it probably is already hybridized to to a degree that it can be considered a hybrid. And yeah, by the looks of it, it already seems. But does it pass your hybrid? Hmm? Does it pass? It, the it hybrid didn't pass. Well, not yet, not yet, <clears throat> not yet. But paper I didn't as well yet. Yeah, yeah, paper I didn't. And as well. I know Alvaro mentioned it. Five K a day, five K yeah, a day IP wise. But Alvaro like, mentioned it, there is like the paper I is the best kind of candidate for a hybrid yeah, 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 yeah so so my guess is that uh yeah it's definitely on a path to becoming a proper hybrid but it still needs like way more revenue or let's say just maybe maybe more mechanics but just by the ui as you see here it's definitely like going there yeah. right? just by the looks of it because that there's like yeah like for instance this thing you've seen this one 
uh, where it is, let me show the screen here. Just, just as the, uh, here. So this is exactly what Mob Control Ooh. has. These kind mm -hmm. of boosters yeah. for ads right before the gameplay. It's just, again, the same thing we've been talking about. Voodoo translating all the learnings from other hybrids into their different hyper-casual games and hybridizing them. It's literally there. Cool. Uh, next question is for Mathieu. <laughs> Easy, I know. How uh, did you come up with a name? Did you guys get your name from the TV show Two and a Half Men? Uh, thanks, Dave. I, yeah, thanks, Dave. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, but maybe yes, maybe no. I was just thinking about how not to have a boring name, uh, and it's something different, so which is not related too much to games, and then a little bit. And I know Felix doesn't play games too much, and you know, the other come on, man, like it's because I play on a console and you guys look down on what, console games. What are we really discussing this? Like, who plays, I mean, man, and, like, seriously. what's even yeah, possible to like, be playing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just no, just shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe there was like a, a little bit of an inspiration, uh, getting from two and a half men, but uh, I just wanted to have something different, which is a little bit maybe bizarre. And a little bit connected to what we do, and uh, you know, Felix doesn't play, uh, and we play a little bit. And then when we, you know, stand next to each other, then I'm the half gamer because <laughs> I'm also very short. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, like the the secret is that if people s search on the internet, they can even uh, check our other podcast that we did with Matej, which is That's called true. Gamecast. Which was I call it the racist one because you had to be Slovak to be honest or yeah, to understand. Yeah, Slovak because we were trying to help the local Slovak community yeah, here yeah. in the game industry. But at some point, we said just like, yeah, maybe we can switch to English. I'll try because yeah. you know, people here in Slovakia speak English completely normal and just like we'll be much more productive. Yeah, well, Felix play. Um, yeah, Dave. I'm not sure if it, Felix actually plays that much uh, forex <laughs> games. A little bit of them, a little bit of them, very little. But I, have, I do. It's fine. It's yeah, like, that, uh, there you have your UA question. You go with. I know so Frederick yeah, yeah. asks about a uh, quick question about soft launch. Which country would you use as a proxy for South Korea? Uh, Taiwan, Vietnam, maybe. I guess Taiwan could be in that kind of area. Uh, any experience with Google Play's open testing? Uh, yes, it's. I usually have it worldwide, and just run UA in those countries where where I want to get data. Mm. So it's uh, it's usually you can run like Facebook and Google easily, and then TikTok kind of has a problem of crawling the the google play open testing url it usually says it's it's not live so you need to have at least like one country in production testing so as soon as you go to open testing just yeah do worldwide you can get quite nice um, featurings from from google play for like open beta or like well it's kind of open testing uh and then get in additional uh installs and data which is Really nice. But regarding yeah, South yeah. Korea, just just like going on top of that, like it should be marketed differently, shouldn't it be? Like, yeah, I mean, like, know. Much more offline stuff, is it? Much more offline stuff and also super localized and not even translated only. Since we we've, we've been there, I my opinion about localization and translating the the text from English to South Korea with Google Translate, it's, that's far, <laughs> it's long gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's long gone. Uh, I will be right back. I mean, I need to do the pool emergency thing, so uh, you can continue without me. <laughs> Machi yeah, is the modern man. Yeah, that's the usual thing that you don't see on the podcast because we take this one out. But yeah, it happens all the time, even with my kid. So that's that. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are we talking anyway? Uh, yeah, the mushroom thing, by the way, for all those listening, we're doing the mushroom game next week. What mushroom game? Legend of Mushroom. Ah, uh, Legend of Mushroom. We are yeah. indeed. L Legend of Mushroom. And uh, my guess is I'm going to beat Maciej this time. Uh, that's my You're one. definitely going to beat Maciej this time. Yeah, because this is the one that you can literally play very easily on emulators. Uh, but just saying, it's currently doing like two and a half million a day. Can you cover it? Show it? Show yeah. it on the sensor tower? Yeah, a little bit of a sneak peek that why we why we choosing this game because yeah we will be talking about it on next week's podcast but it's basically uh, a rewarded ad emulator. Yeah, no, no, it's a gacha emulator actually. 
it's, it's a gacha emulator but it's uh it's very close to legend of slime which we did cover we know load complete uh and their team in south korea uh and they use literally mechanics that are one-to-one -one. the team that they copied some of the things didn't even bother with like let's say changing the icons like they literally have like a fork icon for a currency and they have the same fork icon there but regarding the thing that they have there like it's scaling like completely crazy it just had its uh, western version uh released recently that's why we're covering it now but just seeing the graph here let me share it for a second so you know whoever wants to kind of take along feel free to play it until next monday but yeah it's crazy literally two and a half mil a day currently and if we go by countries as said uh, japan is very strong and you see the the, the uptick in the like U.S. revenue, this red line here, but again, mostly it's Japan, South Korea. What do you think ad revenue is? Ad revenue is like this giant. Like there's so many ads in it. They don't have that system with like pro getting more rewards as more ads you watch, like yeah. Legend of Slime. They don't have that, and I guess it's a little bit less demanding, but it's still a very big portion of it. Like pretty much, they they copied all of the like. If you run out of resource, you can always get more to ads think that that's the paradigm there and then they added a lot of these uh, like they have the flying dragon there you know like just going around the screen you click on it you can get more hard currency those stuff. are always yeah. deadly yeah, yeah, yeah very good are, like yeah those, very good conversions yeah so for anyone that kind of wants to kind of see what this thing is about we will be covering next week and i'm playing it all the time it's very good and the events by the way the events are completely cutthroat the events if you don't pay you cannot even play them it's nice. like very very easy like you don't pay you don't even get the attempt at the gachas so you'll see it's it's uh predominantly an asian game well what predominantly an asian game yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um which yeah. game are you the most excited about right now currently yeah you mean like new games yeah uh, I'm really looking forward how the Zenless Zone Zero game will do from me. Yeah, Royal. but like a real game, you know, like one that actually more than five million people play. <laughs> what are you talking about? Zenless Zone Zero from me, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going, they, they just sent me an invite to their third beta, the Zenless Zone Zero thing. So I hope yeah. we get to meet them in China when we go. Yeah, they're, they're like very big, very good. As, but the problem is that, uh, that I have with their portfolio is that it's. Uh, the same kind of visuals, probably the same audience, so they will kind of... There's a drunken midget behind you. Yeah, JR's kind of going somewhere around. Okay, I'm going to let him out. Yeah, but, but the thing is that they will probably go against the same audience. So my guess is similarly how Genshin and Honkai played with each other. So they cannot really, you know, upscale the whole portfolio that much because it's the same audience so that's my biggest problem but other than that the game looks amazing so i'm really looking forward when they really hopefully this year they will release it so we'll see all right you have a question in the chat from dave the hero yeah so have you guys seen war evolution for example let me check that we read it out properly yeah have you guys seen War of Evolution? I promise it's one of the craziest Forex hybrids on mobile guys you have uh, seen. Remember Spore on PC? Really, it's Spore. Let me check that. I really like Spore. Spore is really good. Spore was one of those games that you could do everything you wanted in. Mm. Like We showed one new game called uh, Starlit Eden at the end of the last episode. If you looked at that's a very, very cra crazy Forex game. Go check that one out. It's just like... Yeah, it's it's outstandingly crazy regarding the feature set. It looks like in the Stardew Valley pixel-based game and then suddenly turns into Forex. But let me check the War of Evolution game. Uh, you know why you're doing that? I'll, I'll do a public service announcement, right? Because uh, Apple has updated their terms and conditions for what is acceptable as an ad SDK and what's not. So essentially starting on April 1st, if you don't update all your ad SDKs on iOS, you're going to get rejected from your builds. And it's already started to happen for Hello. some of my clients. The privacy manifest, essentially. So you need to make sure you're compliant with all the SDKs. I forgot to say that in the start, but it's a pain in the ass. But everyone has to pretty much update all your iOS ad SDKs for the next 30 days. Otherwise, you will get rejected from the App Store. What is War, war, evol war of Evolution? 
No, I was just discount. talking. Uh, I was doing a PSA okay. while uh, Rima was looking at Spore on PC. Yeah, oh, nice. there should okay. be some some new forex game that we got a nice tip for. It's already doing like 80k downloads, 50k downloads a day. Started March 4th, and nice. rev revenue wise, it's doing uh, not that big yet. It's something like 20k a day. But oh, not bad. Could be, could be just like sensor tower being, you know. It's slowly. man. It's like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's very, very small. But not it's, the, it's, I... not, it's not a Western release, if I get, or is it? Mm -hmm. Or is it the West? Is it the Western release? I need to check. Yeah, huh. I actually have a question. How has a soft launching changed in the last year and a half since we'd last did our episode on soft launching for UA? I have a soft launch article half written. I know, I wonder why I'm I don't know, no. Yeah, so there's going to be an like additional part of iOS and IDFA and all of the fun stuff you need to you need to have there uh, from the get-go. Then a little bit of scan uh, addition. Like, what are we seeing? Like, this is the game? Yeah, this is the game, but it, yeah, I'm amazed. It literally looks like Spore. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Interesting. This is very interesting. Is. You don't know what's. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this so is the part we talked about yeah. to an about gamers. Not even a half see, gamer. See, this is the sport. This is the sport game when you literally can create this whatever monstrosity because you can yeah. customize it to the limit. You see, like you can customize the horn, eyes, claws, whatever. Like that's one of the signature things because it's evol evolu evolution all the time. But yeah, this looks very interesting to be honest and like high production quality. Yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye, an eye out on that one. Thanks very much, Dave. I'll, yeah. I'll put it on Thank you. there. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, back to soft launching. Uh, besides the iOS and the new kind of, um, like uh, Frederick mentioned, open beta type of things where you just launch the game and you don't get reviews and ratings, um, not exactly that much, I would say. Uh, maybe the channel mix changed uh, a lot in the from the last time we spoke about it. It's now, again, not only Facebook, Google, but additional channels, in especially in monetization stage. Uh, Apple Avin is kind of tricky because you need to have at least 500 or 1,000 daily new installs to actually get there. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah that's it's a new liftoff, huh? <laughs> No, it's like, I mean, it makes sense uh, from their point of view because they say if you're not getting enough data, then it's not going to work. And it's like, yeah, I, I get that. But if you're in soft launch, it's like, uh, you know, in soft launch, it's not that easy to get 1,000 instas per day <laughs> in a very limited amount of countries. So that kind of leaves you to the trio of Facebook, Google, TikTok. And TikTok Creative Challenge is working really well for me. And I think that's kind of what we discussed with Sam also from Lesmore. That's what they've done uh, for their global launch. So I think like that's going to be a very big part of the, the article, like how to leverage this TikTok Creative Challenge before uh, going global. So, you know, you have all the, all the creatives kind of uh, different concepts ready for, for going global and increase the spend. But we have also one comment on LinkedIn, which is like my friend Omer says his expectations from inspection over Legend of Mushroom is super high because 2.5 million a day revenue is super crazy. So, uh, yes, we are going to yeah, record this on Monday. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. And it's yes. By the way, to the question regarding this. Uh... Colossi so the question games. is just a comment. Yeah, but there's 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 a question from Colossi Games, I guess, Manuel oh, nice. in the chat. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so you Manuel you're in the house. Manuel, yeah, yeah. don't spoil this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. To be honest, I have my assumption why this game works so much better. Uh, hey, please don't say because they are listening to our podcast. No, 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 no <laughs> not because of that. It's because, like, what I said at the Legend of Slime podcast is that Legend of Slime was missing one key feature because of just how they built the game. You not, never not said that. You never said yeah, that. Yeah, I said never that. said that. Oh, of yeah, course he said that. He said it for like 10, 10, 10 I was trying games. To, I was trying to gaslight him and we just had a great opportunity to do so, but you, you, no. you messed it up. No, he's, yeah, man. He he's always says this, oh, you need social uh, features I'll, and all I'll, the I'll definitely, I'll definitely. Social features are the new Amazon for game design. <laughs> or ASMR creatives. 
<laughs> I'll keep the deconstruct for Monday, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I have a very clear assumption now after playing the game for like five days, like why this game is working so much better now regarding to compared to Legend of Slime. But yeah, we'll by the way, we'll have a special guest on that episode. Yes, too. yeah, we will. So we'll be having more product opinions on this, not just me, yeah. also the people who pay. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So finally, it will be very handy. <laughs> that is actually very handy. Yeah. So we need to, yeah, we need to bribe Ken to actually come on. It's like, hey, can, can you come on the pod because we have this cheap fag who's never paying anything in yeah. <laughs> in games. Rima, do you have any updates on uh, on uh, what was it, Doodle Wizard? Doodle, Doodle Magic. Wizard. Yeah. Doodle Magic. Doodle Magic yeah. Magic yeah, yeah. Uh, I do. They have a very interesting update in the backlog, which I think already should be live. It's based so on interesting. The, and yeah. based on that data, there's going to be maybe announcement on my end. Let's see. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, if I understand correctly, they're a little bit slow. I know like the... six studios are cloning the shit yes. out of that game right yes, now for the that's... Western market. Like, and I can't wait. I have also, so we have in, in our Slack channel, uh, one, one friend, now is a friend, he shared me uh, the first version of of their of their their game, and it's man, it's a combination of different things. And Doodle Magic is one of them. Ooh. And it's a tower defense kind of thing, but you are not only having this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. No, no. What I'm saying is that I also saw a game which is a clone of this game, which is already one of the top grossing games on WeChat, shown by our friend Heaven. Yes, that's true. Okay. It's a zombie team. You wouldn't guess. Yeah, it. Oh, who would say that? Oh my god, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, this game, by the way, is also having a zombies in there in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my guess is that uh, this prediction, like within six months, is gonna fulfill. It's gonna be there and it's gonna be like very, very strong. Because guys here, I think they're doing very good, but they're unfortunately a little bit slow regarding the Because the US is not working. And for US them is because... not working with the Korean art. That's exactly, the, that's yeah, the, exactly. Yeah, the that's where yeah. I come in. Let's see. Hey. Wait, you work? <laughs> no, not yet. Let's oh. see. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> and that's you know, that's all. All depends on the on the late up, latest update, which is not doing that much. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, but there will be definitely. I can guarantee there will be multiple games going for this like iteration of tower defense without the line, where there will be just you know, the rogue light um, addition to it, and just like a clear plane with monsters like hordes of monsters coming from top to the bottom and that's it because it looks like ua creative honestly it yeah. looks like the whole thing looks like the ua creative yeah you're exactly so, someone and, finally and, pays attention yeah the ua is important <laughs> exactly so my guess is like this will be like very very good cpis there on, on the whole thing so you just need to yeah. do like a proper meta game because their meta game like the doodle magic wizard there it's very very deep and i guess too deep for it's for how it super niche man it's yeah, so, niche. such a hardcore such a hardcore game so yeah like the, I, but it's like honestly it's fun like it's it's really fun like that kind of coming like the whole tower defense type of thing and then kind of defending the so do we think the, that the western clone of this is going to make more or less money than more 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 yeah, yeah, more, yeah. 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 Like well, this, depends. This is if making fifty k a day. I'm, if I'm they start working like... with me, then then no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting something on no, scale like hundred to hundred and fifty k a day for this game. Yeah, because yeah, keep in least, mind, Survivor IO makes like a million a day. Yeah, I mean this could still be... make a million a day now. Yeah, this could be this could be quite big. And by the way, uh, my my daughter <laughs> said, my daughter said like, oh, you have a very nice T-shirt. It's like, yeah. Of course, anti gacha gacha club. What was Looking that font you. called on Word? The old one, you know, like the the wobbly word lines. Art? Yeah, Word Art. Here we go. Yeah, well, I have Word Art for uh, for some announcements on, on LinkedIn posts, but yeah. Anyway, welcome to the Slack. I mean, feel free to ask a question if you want. Yeah, uh, so anything I think, you want. Yeah, I want to just touch a little bit on the where was it in random. Michael asked about the match free core with Gardenscape ish meta and then move to Forex map. And there was quite interesting, uh, interesting discussion. So have you seen this uh, today? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I read through it. The thing is that if I understand, it's not that sophisticated regarding the what do you mean how sophisticated? It's called the transition during the long term game. Like if we compare the things that River Game is doing in top yeah. Top war maybe not that much, but top heroes and last war definitely, and mm -hmm. whiteout survival too. Those are the games yeah. that like literally integrated the onboarding 
game into the forex end game part of it. But if I get it right, if we take like puzzles and survival from, if I understand, 37 entertainment. Yeah, yeah 27 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they're fucking killing it as well. Yeah. So it's literally, uh, it's literally empires and puzzles gameplay, isn't it? Um, pretty much. Yeah. Let me, let it me. is. And also, I mean, well, empires and puzzles have been in the throne for so long, so. Oh, but it's mm, it's a different thing, man. It's just that the creative is the input. See? See, this is the thing. Yeah. So so it looks like Empires and Puzzles. But, but it's, it's not looked, it's not really. It's not Empires and Puzzles. Like, you know, you yeah. go, you have your base <laughs> and then suddenly Yeah, you have stuff, all these. Yeah, stuff kinda continues. And this is pretty pretty old video. This is like yeah, But this still ago. yeah, this is still the the case. Yeah. And uh, also I just I feel it mentioned it as well from Voodoo, like this combination of There's Match a 3 4X. and 4X, yeah, it's just like my, like the CPI has went up by fucking 10,000% immediately when you combine this, these two genres. Can you <laughs> use mine, the creative? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's keep, what they are doing, man. That's what they are doing. Keep in mind that the base building thing is also in Empires and Puzzles that's the true, other way around. That Empires and Puzzles has the core gameplay from Puzzle and Dragon simplified, but they took the base building stuff from Forex. From Forex it was yeah. the old Forex, like prescripted city, you just upgrade this, upgrade that, yeah. bam, bam, bam. But I don't think so. We can get to the Forex map here yet. Or it's just probably too far away than the like no. first 20 minutes. I missed a question from Sagi. Sorry about that. 24 oh, yeah, hours we can. ago. See, Add we more. can. So it's within the first 25 minutes. That is your Forex here. Peace shields. There yeah, is. yeah, exactly. So it's very <laughs> and say, like, see, see the, um, on the right, in the top right corner, the, <laughs> the button there to the special offers and the store. Yeah, the fuck, like, that's same everywhere. layout. Every Forex. So, yeah, same every Forex. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry, I feel it's go on like there's Yeah, wait, I missed a question from Soggy. Basically, he said about 24 well, hours ago, really AdMob missed. started making Android apps crash. Any insights on this? Insights outside the official Google Ads status dashboard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most of the time when Google app, AdMob crashes, the SDK is usually due to native banner ads being placed in banner ads, which is very profitable, but for some reason loves to crash games. So that's usually my first port of call if you're having like ANRs because of ad, ad mob, just take out, uh, yeah, take out the um, native ad mob um, banner creatives. That usually helps. I haven't seen anything though in the last 24 hours. Hmm. There's a question for you, Felix. There, <laughs> if you did move, <laughs> actually, did you move? No, not yet. <laughs> On the eighth, <laughs> almost. But almost. The... Yeah, we have from a guy from from Plarium. He also says that Match Free and Forex is engaging more than Runner and Forex like last war. Well, it might be more engaging, but, uh, but in terms of the CPIs, oh my fucking god! Last war is not a Runner. It's, yeah, exactly. It's just it like hyper like casual, runner, but hyper it's not casual. A runner. But it's it's the comment was about the combination. That's it. Mm. That was the combination, like yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Runner, which means for our in our terminology, gates. Hyper casual creative, but it's it kind of is like a runner. I mean, if you if you look at the whatever yeah, side it's game. growing. Yeah. yeah. Where, where are the LinkedIn questions? I'm getting people messaging me saying they're asking me questions on LinkedIn. Where do I well, see those? I see them here in the in the live, in the I comments. Know. But maybe they're asking you under your LinkedIn LinkedIn post. Look. This yeah, is the... the chat is in, in, in LinkedIn also. There's like uh... here, so I mean it's like it's the second time I'm posting this on in, in our Riverside chat. So what the <laughs> Yeah, just click on it, man. Just click on it, man. Easy. Like it's like next it's... question. Cut the crap yeah. with bullshit. Uh you remember <laughs> small giant trying a combat variant of itself that was just never getting anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember it very vividly. Uh it's actually very switched vividly. the team because we can look into it. I already <laughs> set it up here. So it's called Puzzle Combat. And it's it was a copy of like Empires and Puzzles. They pretty much copied themselves to kind of reinforce their, you know, share of the category. And it was this complete army team. And there was just this kind of clean army, whatever you see here, visual something, something. And they had this kind of a, like, again, very, very clean, some kind of dark fort, something, something. But it was literally the copy of the team. And they went nowhere. And, no, 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 no. They went you guess what? We already talked about it today. Who's the best UA manager? 
What? Second base you imagine? Second they went to the zombie theme. They went exactly. to zombie theme afterwards. <sighs> yeah, so they switched the theme to go into zombies. Why not? It's the same game and this is risking it to go into zombies. And you could see that it's just that everything just went super dark. It's the same visuals, same everything, but just the theme of the game can switch to zombies. And if I remember correctly, it did release... Uh, it didn't go anywhere. I would say it got somewhere. Uh, we, we can check some, some stuff there. What the fuck are you talking about? It went something, nowhere, something, mate. Stop it went nowhere. It, it went Stop somewhere. Like... It. You're such a I small giant know. Zynga like, fan. No, boy. no, he can't, he can't, you know, he can't do multi -thing, multiple things at once when he, a small JR is just screaming out, screaming there, and just he can't focus. I can see. I can see it in his eyes. He's just rambling. <laughs> And you are muted, Jakub, so it's fine. Uh, don't worry. We on purpose. You want yeah, me to be muted. I no, know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, people, this is this is the life of the uh, people with kids. Well, I would say parents, but I mean, some parents have a better life. Uh, so yeah, so the small giant yeah, game. It went very small. Need, need, need to go my poop pups. You go now. There you go. Hey, nice. Well, it's like Felix. Now you're uh, you, you're next. Yeah, I mean, I need, I need to do a Berkheim club yourself. break. I don't know. Like, what do you do in Berlin? Yeah, yeah. You need to, you need to. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. I need to go and, uh, you know, go listen to techno. Yeah, exactly. Nice. But no, it's it's okay. It's okay. So that's that's that. I mean, the the puzzle combat, like what we see here, it's, it's revenue. I mean, it's still making what, like, sometimes like 20K per, per day. It is going down. That's true. No mushroom war. It's not well, but that's the thing. Um, the Legend of Mushroom was out in the East until recently, and it's super, super big in Japan. It really is like making one one million per day. Now it's really like it's really scaling. So let's see, because like also the US is kind of the second or third spot already on a daily basis. So that's uh, that's growing like crazy. I haven't checked the creatives yet, but I know Ken was sending us some screenshots from, from Twitter, actually. And they are copying, like, Toy Story, Pokemon, like, kind of uh, static images. And they're using Twitter. Like, who the fuck runs UA on Twitter? Someone who doesn't know, <laughs> I guess. But that's fine. Hmm. I can check, actually, the, the... What is it? The original sl small giant game puzzles and dragons no puzzle dragons oh welcome Jacob. what did i miss or nothing i was just... of the empires and puzzles no empires but this one i wanted to check uh because it's been a while since i checked that because i didn't i, did, I don't even know like how they're doing i think empires and puzzles need more ad placements that's what they're really lacking more ads they already had one ad placement when yeah they have one together. like yeah. one little lonely one i think they have two now actually very, very lonely one yeah empires and puzzles i mean if you work with empires and puzzles segmentation might be <laughs> for you <laughs> okay i need to I, yeah i need to change the bot in our slack channel to from uh, amazon to segmentation so every time we say so yeah going a little bit on decline but still doing like outstandingly good like i don't know 14 15 million a month okay sounds bad yeah so like i would say pretty stable for like what like eight year old game yeah yeah so like outstanding job of keeping it this long to be honest like, they're gonna be on how dethroned actually. just like uh monopoly go did with uh <laughs> Coin master. <laughs> yeah, at some point, because uh -huh. I was working on the game that dethroned, got dethroned by Empires and Puzzles. So mm. <laughs> yeah, it was quite, quite right, legendary. Yeah, you can wait, wait. Put a graph with legendary and just track the, <laughs> the, like the revenue. Yeah, the revenue yeah. compared to that, and you'll see. <laughs> network, I think. Legendary. Yeah, there we go. Network. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah that's what happens that's, that's what like, happens but uh, should i put puzzle and dragons into it and then yeah, we put can, puzzle and dragons yeah of course yeah, yeah go for it
but this is only only in Japan, right? Yeah, yeah you know how much Japan. they spend on shit when they like something, huh? My thing is that I probably need to find the Japanese name. Just give me a second. Yeah, I was like, oof. Japanese name. Jesus Christ. Japanese gotcha. Ketchup. Ooh. Ketchup. Ooh. Okay. Any any other questions, guys? Uh, yeah, otherwise we'll uh, end this AMA soon, sooner rather yeah. than later. I mean, this is quite a, a big experiment, but we're going to do this every every month just because why not? And uh, because we like to talk to you, and uh, I might actually release this in our. Oh, there you go. Next time, I think we're gonna give out T-shirts for every question. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Who's the throwing who, guys? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> See, this is 2014. 120 million a month. 120 okay. million a month. That's yeah. what you get for Puzzle and Dragons, the first game that reached one billion in revenue. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's great that's history crazy. lesson. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> it's just what the fuck. Still doing more than empires and puzzles, just in Japanese market. Just in Japan, yeah, because they, yeah, version. they took yeah. it down. So there's, there's your dethroning right there. Cool. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and Manuel is asking uh, if we are looking forward to coming to Cyprus, and who is coming? So it's me and Jakub. I'm getting my sinuses reworked so I can sneeze properly. Uh, so I can unfortunately fly there. But yeah. I will catch you next time, Manuel. And you can show me. Is it Limassol? It's Limassol, right? Yeah, you can yes, show me Limassol. Limassol at night next time. Yeah. We actually decided not to go to Gamescom this year. No Gamescom? No. You don't want to go? No. Great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we're going to go to China Joy instead. Yeah, let's do China Joy. So if yeah. you guys are at China Joy, we'd love to hang out. By the way, guys asking in LinkedIn, are we bringing merch there? Of course Where? we're bringing merch. Obviously. Where is mine? I guess that was the comment to Matty's anti gacha gacha club. Oh, picture. yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we bring, well, we, I bring merch everywhere uh, with me. So we just, you know. It's usually connected to, to our talks, but, um, you know, it's not, we don't always talk that much. So uh, we can we can meet and, and greet and then we'll hand out the t-shirts. Yeah. And this is just MVPs, all of them. And uh, we have some new shit coming. Uh, yeah. So. Should we get some mushroom t-shirts these, coming? Go? These ones will get high in value later. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. All right, I'm not seeing any more questions. So maybe yeah, we should just like, when we that, will consider working a what a small small ad network. Does this is use Felix? Ah, when will you consider working with smaller ad networks, such an affiliate network? Never. <laughs> <laughs> How Guys, about like, never? I, I have I have clients, so basically I can't be seen as like impartial right because then i'm part of the problem that's the big <laughs> issue right like <laughs> so basically i have to be impartial uh you know like uh, i've gotten so much crap from a leading mediation provider and a another non-leading mediation provider <laughs> for basically both of them are accusing me of working for the other people <laughs> it's just like i have to be impartial i have to be like switzerland i'm really sorry so i can't unfortunately do it <laughs> But I think the the question was like, when do you add it into the politics? Oh, when? Like, right? like, no, yeah, when? Oh, that's for UA, that's, not for an admon. Really? I mean, yeah, it's a I, UA question. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be a UA question if this is like 2015 or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even working in, uh, with affiliate networks at all. It's just no. <laughs> just no. Why is that? Uh, fraud and like a little but let's bit talk of... about how fraud can be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was for you, I mean, you were yeah. right. No, I don't, yeah, it's like it's a lot of time on my end to manage all of the like fraud and all of the stuff for very little outcome out of it. So when I'm tr trying to consider the <clears throat> amount of time that I need to spend to manage UA channels. I also kind of think about how much money I can get out of it and like what kind of quality I can get. And if it's too small, it's just like it doesn't it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But uh yeah I would rather go with DSPs, which is not uh I mean it's not an insult, 
but uh, <laughs> it's it's always uh, next in line. Yeah. Uh, any no, not more questions on LinkedIn. Uh, we have no, more on no, YouTube. yeah, nothing else on on YouTube as well. And we can uh, yeah, we can wait few few more minutes and then uh, uh, wrap this you. up. Wrap this up and then yes, yeah, see you see you next yeah, time. But good 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 first time. I really like these kind of uh, discussions about like games and like referencing people to other games. And I like making fun of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Manuel is also asking about do do you feel like paying for retention in the US has a future before privacy kills them? Mist play game light and there is like rewarded play, T rewards and my fly up free and all of these. I think you have or they have a future and at least they have a place in my UA channel mix. It's but it's not that scalable. So let's say you you kind of combine all of these together to get like five, six, seven K spent per day. If you want more, it's just quite tough. You just need to add like all the all the geos they have. Uh, but it's still kind of worth it. It's still worth it. <clears throat> It's a good, I mean, the kind of paper retention means like they have really good quality players. It's, what does that mean? I'm sorry, pay for retention? It's just like CPE, basically. Cost per engagement. engagement, yeah. It's just in, in this case, retention means that they, it's, it's an app. I mean, you know misplay, right? Yeah. So it's it, it's an app that kind of gets all the players in to play games and they, they get rewards for playing games. So they basically play a lot. So it means better retention. Also kind of like good payers. So Manuel, like this is the type of segmentation if you're doing on UA campaigns. <laughs> this type of user, you would spam the shit out of with ads. Banners, <laughs> enters, <laughs> rewarded from first get-go. This is exactly why you do segmentation on ad now <laughs> for user acquisition campaigns. Yeah, pretty much. But it's not, not the main, like, as you said, like, it's not the main part of your channel mix, is it? It's no, no, no. Not no, no. scalable, yeah. I mean, you need to also define like what is scalable. Like for some people, five, six, seven k per day is quite a lot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if you have five, six, seven k for these four channels, then you have twenty, thirty, fifty on Facebook, Google, TikTok, and others. So that's like that's the kind of ratio between the UH and traditional UH channels and these channels. Mm. Yes. Yes. Blo blog yes. last came. Yes. Yes. And also, we are going to meet them in China. Yeah, we are. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Hopefully, uh, with with Heaven and all the all the other guys, because uh, yeah, this game. We're doing an event. Right? Doing an event. Yeah, we are going to do an event uh, in China. So this is on our radar for a long, long time. And also, it's a small team. It's a very small team. It's like it was when they started, it was like two or three people. And now it's like maybe 10, 15 still. It's only Eight. 10 people doing that revenue. Yeah. It's super, super big. I mean, big in revenue, small in teams. And then uh, less with so, more. Yeah, less is more. There you go. With... Last question. Yeah, yeah last, last question. question. I was going to read it. Jakub, go. Or if Felix. Ja okay, Jakub, no, yeah, Jakub can't go. Yes, because such like, a beautiful there's... low voice. No, J JR is screaming. Oh, okay. the shit out of here. If you would make a game together, what kind of game would you create with the current market? Oh, my God. It's going to be waifus all the fucking time. No, no, time. we're not doing yes. waifus. We're not doing waifus. Yes, of course. Horse girls. And it's like, so all the way. Yeah, it's so Horse... much easier when Jakub is muted. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, it's going to be waifus. With, uh, yeah, horse cross or ship battleships. Doodle, with, wizard, with doodle wizard with waifu battleship. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just like, I don't know. Uh, jokes. jokes uh, West aside. is still waiting for its waifu game, I tell you. West is that's still waiting we, for giant That's probably waifu. what we... Oh, my God. JR. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Jar is you know like we said waifus and he's just like out of his mind. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. We'd probably do that, right? Waifus. Oh, no, Jesus. Yeah. No way. Western no way. waifus. It's like I mean, honestly, it's like super complicated. Yeah. It is. It's gotcha based. 
Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, if it was if it was three months ago, probably Wizard Doodle. Doodle magic, yes. Doodle magic. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Something very heavily inspired f that's coming from Asia, for sure. Yeah, for sure. There ten Look ten to Asia for ahead. the future and just make it westernized. Just 10, ten steps ahead. Yeah, and a hybrid, of course. The hybrid, yeah. And, and Waifu just, hybrid. Dude, where's the, where's the meme? Yeah. <laughs> Powered by AI. Oh, I mean, guys, can we get more buzzwords, please? Yeah. Can you get more was that it's gonna be sitting on chain and web free, whatever? Yeah, hundred percent. Anyway, uh no, I mean no. is asking about Axon 2. What are the changes that you notice on UA for UA on uh, Apple? I mean, Axon 2 changed the whole fucking world in the in terms of the UA. It helped like so many things. E all, like all, all the guys I games I managed just improved the uh, the numbers a, a lot. And we were kind of discussing like what changed like in their algorithm and it's just like all the game kind of related stuff that they are getting or ad revenue as well and like different signals and really really helped me. so now i'm always adding up I mean, as soon as i can uh, into the ua channel mix especially on, on on ios on ios i think it's like top one channel at the moment seriously it's that it's that good damn it's that good yeah on Android, not that much, but on iOS, it's absolutely great. And on Android, by not that much, meaning it's still better than Facebook at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Thank right. you, everyone. Well, thank you very much, guys, for coming. It was great. See you next month, most probably. It's going to go and do it every month, because why not? And, uh, yeah, again, thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh wait! Don't don't forget don't forget to subscribe, obviously, <laughs> and share the share. Join our Slack. And join our Slack. Okay. Cheers.